Last session, we stopped here with uh, beta variational autoencoders. We learned that the objective function for variational autoencoder is a lower bound for the log of the marginal likelihood, which is the actual thing that we want to maximize. And its formulation is exactly given here. You have a decoder, which is going to take as input a code, and it's going to output the corresponding image or data in general. You are trying to maximize that likelihood while uh, generating samples from your encoder. So you have a probabilistic encoder, and then you have a probabilistic decoder. This one is going to take as, as input an image. It's going to give you the corresponding code. You take that code, push it through your decoder. That's going to give you an image. And that's the way that you're going to do maximum mm -hmm. likelihood, or you're trying to maximize this lower bound. But at the same time, the Q distribution, you are trying to regularize it. You want it to stay as close as possible to the prior distribution that you chose. And this is sort of acting as a regularizer. And this is the KL divergence distance between Q and P. Uh, in a usual variational autoencoder, beta is going to be one, but uh, we can actually generalize it to beta variational autoencoder and set this to be a hyperparameter that you can adjust. And why would you do that? Because it's going to give you some flexibility to disentangle information in the components of your Z vector. And by disentangle, I mean each variable is going to have its own meaning. For instance, one of the uh, variables in the Z vector could correspond to rotation. The other one could correspond to emotion. You are not going to get this out of a regular variation autoencoder. And in for GAN, if there is time today, we are going to perhaps reach it. If not, it's going to be next session. So we are definitely going to see in for GAN later on. And that one is also about disentangling information in your uh, Z vector. Any questions about beta VAE? Was everything clear? I need to hear a couple of yeses. Okay, perfect.